By now, I'm sure we've all seen the video demo of Devin, the first AI software engineer from Cognition AI. If you haven't, then you're in luck. In this video, I'll go through the demo video describing some of the overlooked parts. I'll also be sharing my thoughts on whether Devin will be able to replace software engineers. The video starts off with Scott, the CEO of Cognition AI, asking Devin to benchmark the performance of Llama and other API providers. Devin, the AI software engineer, then went to work to do what it was asked. The first thing it did was to make a step-by-step -step plan for tackling the problem. If you pause the video, the steps make sense. It follows the order of operations I would expect the human engineer to follow. It will research the APIs to understand the request formats and parameters. It will then write the Python script that sends a request with those parameters and measures the accuracy of the response and the response times. After that, it'll test the script to ensure it works, analyze collected data from different APIs, document the process it used in the code along with any dependencies, and finally report back its findings. As I said, these are the steps I would expect a human engineer to take, except I know many engineers won't document the process. They would just return their results and call it a day, especially if it's a script they don't plan on reusing. The demo continues to show all the tools Devon uses to complete its task, including a command line, its own code editor, and a browser for accessing documentation on the web. They also show all the coding and testing happening in real time. At some point, Devin runs into an error, specifically a key error when trying to access a JSON property. It then adds print statements for debugging. Pausing the video, we can see the statement it added. First, it printed the JSON response it got. It then wrapped the problematic part of the code in a try-catch block so it could print the exception it was having. It then used the data from the print statements to figure out what the error was and fixed it. After writing the Python script, it also created and deployed a website with full styling for visualizing the benchmark. By the looks of things, the website was created in React, and it looks good. Finally, they showed Devon's SWE benchmark's performance compared to other models, and it seemed to be more than two times better than the next model, Cloud2. And then that was it. That was the end of the video. So I have a few thoughts and reactions to the video. First, I will say the problem solving, or the presentation of problem solving at least, is really, really good. When the AI hype started in 2022-2023, there were talks about AI replacing software engineers because people would go and ask ChatGPT for some code and it would generate it, but I didn't think AI could replace software engineers. It didn't possess the same problem-solving skills a human would, but clearly it has gotten much, much better. Creating a step-by-step -step plan to tackle a problem is a problem-solving skill in itself. I'm looking forward to see what else Devin can do. Be sure to stay subscribed to the channel so you're notified when I drop the video testing Devin. The second thing I noticed is the actual code itself. They didn't show everything, but from what we can see, it looks clean and has some inline documentation describing what it's doing. I also imagine it wrote unit tests for what it did, and that would be easy and straightforward for it to do. Overall, decent code and good inline documentations from the snippets we've seen. Now, will this replace software engineers? I don't think it'll replace all software engineers, but it'll definitely affect the number of engineers that a company hires. The demo video itself is less than two minutes long. If that's how long it actually took Devon to benchmark the APIs and create the UI to display the results, then yes, that automatically negates the need for more engineers if Devon can perform tasks like these. It did some back-end work and some front-end work. If you're not a full-stack engineer, completing these tasks, including creating the UI, could take you a couple of days. Even if you're a full-stack engineer, it'll take you at least a day. Software engineers and companies using Devon will become more productive, essentially negating the need to hire more engineers. I'm also interested in seeing how it performs on other tasks that aren't as simple and straightforward as making an API call and measuring the response. Again, all my comments are based on the demo video that we've seen. Creators of products tend to overemphasize the good parts of their products, like Google did in the Gemini demo. Come to find out, the video was highly edited to look good. We'll have to wait until Devin is open to the public and people can test it. Until then, fingers crossed. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.